Will intermittent fasting screw up your metabolism or make it better? Let's talk about it. So a common question about intermittent fasting is what will it do to your metabolism? And this was something that I was really concerned about when I first heard about it back at the end of 2014. I was really afraid that if I did it, it would just totally mess up my metabolism. But that was kind of ironic because at the same time I was obese and I blamed my obesity on my slow metabolism. I was just convinced that everyone else was eating however much they wanted and they were just staying at a healthy weight and I wasn't eating that much and, and for some reason I was obese. So I just figured it's my metabolism. So I guess I was just kind of paranoid about that. So for a long time, I didn't really stick with intermittent fasting. I was scared to go, you know, really commit to it and do it full throttle. So as time went along, I started to think, you know, I keep blaming my metabolism. And if I really think that's the problem, then maybe I should go get it tested. And I ended up not doing that because the, the test was too expensive and we couldn't afford it at the time. So I did a little thought experiment. I asked myself, if I went and got the test, and if it said that I had a slow metabolism, what would I do about that? And I knew I wouldn't, you know, go on any medication or anything. And so I thought, well, really what I would end up doing is just eating less because if you have a slow metabolism, it just means your body is more efficient and it doesn't need so many calories. And I thought, well, you know, I can, I can do the other side of the equation too. I can move more. And so that's what I did. So I decided, okay, well, I'm going to try intermittent fasting. Like if I've already got a slow metabolism, what could it hurt? And so as I got consistent with intermittent fasting, I started to see that I was losing weight. So I started to see that my, my metabolism wasn't really the problem. And as I got more consistent with intermittent fasting, I started to see that actually I was eating a lot when I was obese. I was eating enough to maintain my 222 pound frame. And with intermittent fasting, it helped me stop stress eating and it stopped me from snacking around all the time. And I started to see like, wow, back when I thought I just had a slow metabolism, the real truth was, I was eating too much. So, you know, as I was practicing intermittent fasting for a long time, it was in the back of my head. What if this is hurting my metabolism in some way? And at this point, I've been practicing intermittent fasting. This is my fifth year now of doing it. And I've got to say, like, I don't think my metabolism is any different now than it was back then. I think that probably, you know, if I was ever tested, they would probably say, yeah, you have a little bit of a slow metabolism. I tend to gain weight really easily and I tend to lose weight really slowly. My husband, on the other hand, has kind of the opposite problem. He will uh, gain weight really, it's really hard for him to gain weight and it's really easy for him to lose weight. It's almost like a problem with him losing too quickly. So, um, but what I did notice about him also was that he really doesn't eat as much as I thought he did. Back when I was obese, I thought, oh, he just eats a lot all the time, but really he doesn't. And he moves a lot more than I do. I started to observe my behavior and his behavior. And I saw, you know, he fidgets around a lot and he's just up moving around all the time doing stuff. And I tend to sit in one place a lot. So I've tried to overcome that by, you know, moving around more, getting up and just, you know, making myself move around more like he does. And, you know, also watching that I don't overeat or that I don't snack around or emotionally eat too. So now again, I have not been tested, but I still feel like, you know, I'm pretty much the same as I was back then. I feel like I can gain weight just as easily, but I also don't feel like that intermittent fasting uh, has given me any kind of edge with my metabolism. I still have to uh, make sure that I don't overeat uh, and that I keep a check on the fact that I'm not emotionally eating. And really, I think that's kind of what it all came down to for me back then was I wanted a faster metabolism so I could eat more without gaining weight. And so now I've just learned how to eat the proper amount and I still eat all the foods now. And instead of having things feel like, well, I, they're off limits or whatever, I just eat whatever I want. And that has helped with that end of the equation. So right now, if you are thinking about doing intermittent fasting and you're kind of worried, like what will it do to my metabolism? I can say from my experience, it really hasn't affected anything. I mean, I was able to get the weight off and keep it off and I am eating whatever I want. And I would encourage you to think about, you know, how would you change your behavior if, you know, you went and got your metabolism tested and if it said you have a slow metabolism, you know, what might you do? And of course, if you feel like you have a medical issue, then 
talk to your doctor about it. They can do, you know, an actual professional test to see, you know, if there's anything wrong with your metabolism and check it out. Don't just sit there and worry about it. Take some sort of action. And remember, even if you do have a slow metabolism, that is not some sort of sentence to being overweight for the rest of your life. It just means you're going to have to work a little bit harder. And of course, you know, I am not a medical doctor. I am not a nutritionist, but I just wanted to share what my experience has been with intermittent fasting and metabolism. And I hope that that's helped you on your weight loss journey. Thank you for watching that video. I hope you found it useful. And if you'd like more information about intermittent fasting, head on over to my website, sixmilestosupper.com, and you can find tons of information on how to lose weight sustainably and keep it off for good.